Okay, I've been experimenting with the off canvas widget, the new one from Elemental Beta version 3.22. I've been playing around with it and I wanted to show you how you could use it for filtering as well. Now I'm only going to show you with the Elemental Taxonomy widget, which once you've activated in your Elemental features, you can use with your loop grid and your loop carousels, whether it's post products, custom post types or anything like that. So over here we have a, a loop grid for some posts and if I go and click cat A, you'll get three posts and if I click cat B, you only get one post and you click all. What I'm trying to get across is that with the off canvas widget, what if you've got tons and tons and tons of filters but you wanted to have an off canvas like pop-up appear. So when you click it, it now shows your filters. Now there's Themify, there's Grid Builder, there's Jet Engine. There's loads of different tools out there, but I'm only gonna show you with the taxonomy filter cause I don't wanna try everything because then you might go, well, what about this and what about that? And I can't try everything, but I wanna show you that it does work. I'm gonna go and copy this taxonomy filter. I'm then gonna go over and summon the off canvas widget. There it is, and I'm going to drop it in above. Now, it doesn't really matter where I put it because it's gonna open up the pop-up or the off canvas widget. It's gonna give this a background color, and then all I'm gonna do is paste in uh, the same uh, taxonomy filter that I had before. Let's say you've gone and added in more filters maybe with other solutions, other plugins as well. You could start dropping them in. I need to add in a close button. You could hit the overlay to close it or hit escape. I'm very quickly just gonna drop in an icon and drop it in above like that. Go to the icon library. I'm going to type in times, get the times over there, showing you this in rapid, really quick speed. Set it to be about 25. Go to content, go to the link, click the dynamic tag or stack or link, go to off canvas, click the spanner wrench. And I'm now going to say close off canvas and it's off canvas one because this is the one I've built. If you've gone and added in multiple off canvases onto your page, just make sure you're opening and closing the right one. Anyway, that X will now close this down. And I'm now going to drop in another icon. I'm just going to position it to the left for now, just so you can understand how it works. I'm just going to go and change this to be filter. We're then going to go to dynamic tag, scroll down to off canvas, click the spanner wrench, make sure it's open off canvas, and we're going to pick off canvas one. I only have one on here at the moment. By the way, I've quickly gone back in just to add in a bit of animation, slide in left, slide out left, and I've set the animation duration to be 0.5. So I've modified the layout ever so slightly so you can still see all the products underneath the overlay. So you click that, the off canvas appears. You can see there's four products. Now we have one product for cat B and three products for cat A. I click that and look, there's the cat B or product number two. I click cat A and I get three items. I click all, I see all of them. This is all still in the beta version of 3.22 and I'm pretty sure there'll be some improvements along the way and I bet there's going to be more coming out of this. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I'll see you soon.